Hi, this is Mike from GetVoip.com, and today I'm going to show you how to set up auto attendant and call groups using the 8x8 account manager portal. So what you're going to want to do from the home screen after logging in is click the phone system tab. Uh, I've already done this, so I'm going to move on to the next step. On the left here, you will see the third one down is auto attendant, so you're going to want to click that. And you'll see some basic information come up, your business name, extension, just to make sure you're dealing with the proper thing here. So before you turn it on, you're going to want to go into the edit feature here. And you'll see some basic information come up. Um, you know, Time zone, we're in good old New York, so we're going to keep that the same. Um, and in this cascading menu here, you're going to go down to hours of operation. So you'll see there's business hours defined. It's Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Uh, we're going to keep that the same. And you'll see how intuitive the system is here where after hours begin one minute after closing and end one minute prior to opening. For argument's sake, let's say that your business was 24 hours, you would simply click here and see that there's no longer a need to define these. But I enjoy my weekends off, so I'm going to keep those like that. Um, getting more detailed, you can get into your lunch hours here and maybe make that noon to one for you know whatever days you'll be at work. Uh, on the right here, you'll see a little more detailed options. Um, both of these are optional, but let's say for argument's sake, you know, you want to set up rules for July 4th. You would do so. Obviously, it would be next year. And you could do that here and then, you know, put a description in and predefined those hours. Um, so after that, uh, none of these will be mandatory. These bottom two, since I'm not setting them up, but these two will. So you see that there's a custom greeting set here. You can either record a voice greeting or you can upload one. Um, so here you can use a WAV, Vox, MP3, or AU file. Um, but I'm going to keep everything the same there as well. And after hours, this is the same story. I have a custom greeting set. So everything looks to be in order. I'll scroll all the way down here. It's out of frame, but right below you will see a save feature. And a message should come up that everything was saved successfully. So scrolling back up to the top here, you're going to go back to the auto attendant menu and you want to turn these all these features on so they are active. And now you'll see the green on has appeared meaning that auto attendant is live. Next step to set up your ring groups. Uh, ring groups essentially are call hunting. Uh, if someone is able to take a call then a certain algorithm will be followed uh, to other extensions. So you want to click create ring group on the right side here. Uh, you can call it, you know, we'll just call that biz. And you're going to want to set up your whether you want a cyclic pattern or everyone's phone to ring at the same time. Uh, we're just going to keep it on cyclic. And you'll see at the bottom here, you can set up your ring group extensions. So. Um, here we go. We're going to set up the first extension and the next call in order. At the moment, we have one extension set up, so um, you can use your imagination here. This would be extension 1002, per se. Um, so we'll just do that, and then you're going to update the list order. And at that point, you would have you know two people in the call group. You can obviously add as many as you'd like. So at this point, ring groups should be all set up. And that's it.